part of this announcement, not one mention of Uber, but I also will caveat that there wasn't a mention of any partner, but it seems very odd, no mention of Uber. You're right. There are no partnerships announced on Denver and Seattle. I'm going to, again, go counter grain to this. I've, every time there's been a reaction, let's go back to Austin and some of that, you know, yip it data and then go into the next market. Like, just because there's no partner announced today doesn't mean there won't be one prior to when Denver and Seattle actually launch. In fact, I would think that there will be one. Now, that partner could be an Avis, a third party, but Waymo doesn't want to build, I don't think, that element of the stool, that third element of the stool, that part of the ecosystem that you and I both find so important. So I, so I think there's still an opportunity for Uber to step into those Denver and Seattle markets. I don't have, I don't have no idea. This is pure speculation, um, but there, I think there will be a partner announced prior to launch. And I'm not going to rule out Uber. Will you? Yes. And I'm going to use Waymo's own words against them. When Waymo announced Austin and when they announced Atlanta, which I call the double A's, exclusively available on Uber, was the exact branding the time they, they announced the city, not launched the city, the same campaigns in both cities. Denver, nothing. No announcement. Seattle, no announcement. So I'm going to say no. Do I believe there will be an infrastructure depot partner? Yes. Is it Avis? That's that's anyone's guess. Is it Avoma? That's anyone's guess. Is it Move.io? That's anyone's guess. But I do believe at some point there, there will be a depot partner or perhaps there's a depot partner that Waymo's currently negotiating, but we don't know with yet that they want to test. But no, I do not see this being an Uber market.